हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज इंजीनियर आकिब अहमद फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग यू टी पिशावर सो टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट द न्यू ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ प्लाक्स इज थ्री डी दैट इज अबाउट द एक्सकेमेशन इन सेंट इन प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल वी हैव मेड डिफरेंट वी हैव मॉडल डिफरेंट मटीरियल फॉर वॉलिंग स्ट्रट्स एक्सेट्रा एंड सॉइल्स नाउ टूडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल मेक the structure that is sheet piles and uh, grouted body anchors not to nailed anchors struts beams etc so we will take start so this is our previous pro previous project uh, in which we have made the soil bore hole and materials now today we will make uh, the uh, model the structure elements so first of all we have to create a surface first point second point third point and fourth point now our surface is uh, 20 meter by 12 meter so we have to uh, give the coordinates to the surface so our or, so that our origin uh, will be in the center so i will enter a is for first point it is minus 10 meter and for second point it is Also minus ten, x direction. Third point, x direction. It is ten, and fourth point, x direction. It is ten. Now in y direction, the first point is minus six. The second point is six meter. The third point is uh, six meter, and the fourth point is minus six meter. Okay, now our surface is created. Now after that, you have to select this surface and exclude it uh, to minus one first. Then again select this surface and exclude it to minus six point five meter. Apply. Now again select the upper surface and exclude it to. Minus eleven meter. Now, after that, we will select the deepest here. The volume we created, so we'll select this and decompose this into surfaces. Now we have to delete the upper surface first and the second surface. Yes. Now, uh, after this, we have uh, created our soils volume to be excavated. now we have to hide all these volumes so we will come to the geometry the volumes hide 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 so all the volumes are height now now after that uh, uh, we want to make the struts and beams so uh, create structure and we have to make it create beam now we will tap the shift and at minus 1 okay it is we have to set our visualization settings to this 0.5 so it is default now this is 9 point we have to enter its coordinate sorry for that now we will click on the here and it is this and this so give the coordinates to the uh, beam we created the horizontal beam so the horizontal beam coordinates uh, will be minus 10 minus 10 in y direction it is 6 and in z direction it is minus 1 now the second point will be in 10 6 minus 1 okay so this beam is created now select this beam and create sorry after that we have to create the beam in other direction so 
click on this beam uh, click here and click here escape now we have to enter the coordinates to this beam in y direction parallel to y direction so minus 10 6 and minus 1 and the second point is minus 10 minus 6 and minus 1 okay now the beam is created modeled now we have to select this beam create array in y direction uh, create 2 and how much distance it will be so it will be in minus 12 okay now this is here it is copied here now after this we have to again copy this material uh, this beam to uh, in x direction to here now select this beam create array in x direction to and how much 20 meter positive now this beam is also created now select all these beams create and, and the beam is created now set materials to walling now the color is changed now after that we have to model the struts so again click on the create structure uh, beams and here and here create a beam enter the coordinates to the beam it is minus 5 6 and minus 1 again minus 5 minus 6 and minus 1 okay now we have to select this strut and beam and set material as strut now its color is changed now select this beam and create array in x direction we, we require three columns and how much spacing uh, five five meter spacing so okay so this is created now five 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 meter five meter five meter five meter so this is 20 meter now after this we have to create uh, create the anchors not to not anchors so for that we have to select this structure and this not not anchor create not to not anchor now uh, assign the material uh, sorry the coordinates to that so this is actually the node to node anchor is 9 meter and uh, it is ungrouted body and uh, also a grouted body will be attached to this uh, which is 3 meter grouted body so let's see now this is not to node anchor we have to enter the coordinates it is 9 meter so i have to enter the coordinate is uh, 10 2 and minus 1 and the second point will be 19 2 minus 7 okay now we have to create another one on the opposite direction so control this now create structure node to node anchor click here also into the coordinates for this so the first coordinate uh, first point will be in minus 10 2 and minus 1 second point is minus 19 2 meter minus 7 okay now the other one is also created select now and create uh, again create structure and create embedded beam click here and here this is the grouted body so this is 3 meter so we have to enter its coordinate also so its coordinate will be minus 19 2 minus 7 and the second will be minus 22 2 minus 9 so this is the grouted body escape now another one we have to create another one grouted body here for here for this anchor 
click this also give coordinates to it and it is 19 2 minus 7 and 22 2 minus 9 okay now this is also created now <coughs> click here and control here and node to node anchor set materials as node to node anchor so its color will be changed now also click here and click here this is the grouted body embedded beam set material as grouted body so its color also got changed now select this all these anchors and grouted body and select the create array in which direction i want i want to uh, it's copy in y direction and i want uh, number of columns to be two so the distance between it uh, the two anchors is four meter okay minus four sorry control z create array array in y direction minus four okay now these are created as you see that now we have to <coughs> group them so control and select press control select all these anchors and grouted bodies and create group so the group will be created here now click on the group and type ground anchors okay so this has been done now uh, we have to uh, assign material to the plates the walls sheet pile walls so press control and click select these walls create plate plate set materials to sheet pile wall now its color will be changed now the color is changed now we also have to select all these sheet pile walls and create interface create positive interface create negative interface now our half project has been done so after this uh, we have to check all our model now our model is fine all the materials are assigned to them now we have to mesh it so yes now after that okay now one thing is more here uh, that is Uh, click on node to node anchors okay now our project is done our structure has been made now after that we have to generate mesh so generate mesh I want to be in cursor so yes now the mesh is generating yes we uh, miss uh, the one task here that is to create surface load sorry for that create load surface create a surface and assign coordinate to them so our for load surface load is a 7 by 7 and it is placed in uh, minus y direction outside the excavation so let's see we can uh, assign coordinates to it that is our first point minus 
3.5 and our second point is 3.5 our third point is also 3.5 our fourth point is also minus 3.5 now y coordinates the first point is minus 7 okay and minus 7 minus 14 and minus 14 now we click 0 for z 0 0 what it is done for this Three point five minus seven and zero. Okay. Now the load is created. You can see that. So we will give the value to the load, uh, which is I think twenty kilonewton per meter square in negative direction so minus 20 kilonewton per meter square okay now it is done okay so we have to mesh it generate mesh course mesh now the mesh is again generating one I think you have to uh, uh, note that uh, if you mesh once and after that you modify uh, the project in structure or soil so you have to mesh again so this is the point in Plaxis so for now this is enough uh, we'll okay one thing here it is uh, view mesh so you can view that that our structure is uh, in good condition or not it is made and yes you can see that we can groups no soils no this is our structure you can see that this is excavation in sand you can see our project is okay so close it so this is enough for now we will in further tutorial we will uh, talk about the stage construction and after that result in analysis thank you for watching please like the video and subscribe the channel for more tutorials